Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke Challenge. One thing I forgot to mention is that in this playthrough, I could do the no duplicate law or rule, and by that, I can only capture new Pokemon. So if I encounter a Pokemon that I've captured before or in the same evolution line, I cannot capture it and I ignore it. Which means if I lose my Pidgey, that will be the last Pidgey I ever get, or anyone within that line. So no Pidgeotto and no Pidgeot. Jojo! Let's go! Hello eyes, yes. Yeah, I know who to lead this one to. Uh, we need some Goku to get at least low kick. That's pretty much top priority. Yes. Scratch. You know, if anyone went to the one video about Major Armstrong and Nano Machine video, I made a joke of how in many Pokemon games, when your Pokemon is not strong enough to learn other moves, they are forced to use moves like Tackle and Scratch, and they have to fight against Metapod or Kakuna, which all they know is nothing but Harden. Must have been a pain in the butt, oh my goodness. I didn't realize how low Kotaro is. Scratch, Sunny. Crud. Faco, let's go. I'm sorry, but Pidgey Sprite looks like it's so easy to draw. I mean, he looks like Diglett that is given the hair and the beak. And it doesn't know front. Critical hit. Nice. And this is where I definitely missed the berries from the Gen 2 and onward. No, Cabin can't cut it. No, it doesn't. Okay, who's next? Cabby. Why can't I catch a cabby? Why I'd be stuck with a metal pot of all things? I'm just going to have it prepared, ready for the kill. Okay, so while we wait for this to go on, let's talk about how I got into gaming. It all started in around like, I don't know, 4 to 5 years old. Back when video game wasn't really that, well it was big, but not to my family. Oh dear, level 6. The only game I ever played were the arcade ones. There's a mall I always go to, and I would go to the arcade every time. I would say the one game I remember the most is the Time Crisis series. That game is fun. Although I was kind of sort to even see the screen at the, at the time. And I also go to a lot of Chuck E. Cheese. Not really fun of those ticket games. Seriously, they are too much luck based to do oh, 10 damage. I'm not sure that critical hit will help, but here we are, we level up. Hmm. I'll move you at top so you can battle. Man, what other like, arcade game I played? I know I play a lot of Time Crisis. In fact, the only Time, time Crisis game I have not beaten yet is the first one. Which does not age well because of the bullet thing. Oh, this is gonna be going to those match. Okay, I'm, like, I'm just gonna speed up. This is. Unless he somehow used tackle that caught me off guard, I'm going to... Oh dear. Well, the thing about with Time Crush is that... Sorry. You have a pedal that allows you to duck whenever you let go of it. If you see a bullet come after you, you duck. Problem with Time Crush 1 is that the, those bullets that are about to hit you are so hard to see that... 
by the time you probably realize it or differentiate between the other boot, you already get hit. And the time system is more accumulated rather than reset per round. So you're only giving like 15, 30 seconds between that and it doesn't age well. Okay. Thunder Wave. Nowadays with the more recent time crisis games, starting with the second one, the hit on bullet are gonna be marked with the red counter and there'll be like a wave coming out to show you that they are going to hit you. If this guy you tackle, I'm gonna eat my hat. Or this microphone. Do I even want to move on right now? Son Goku is a bit injured. Pidgey. Level 6. I'll leave it to Jojo. And I believe that's all the game I remember playing. I mean, I know I played that boxing game that had like these dual, dual control stick that act like glo punching gloves. I know I, only, I never beat it the first. I think I only gone through one round of that game. I forgot what that game called. And then, I need to head back to the Pokemon Center. And then we got that. Oh, I'll be right back, guys. Just give me a. Yeah, I'll probably. Hold on, let me get over this guy. Don't get killed. It's... Okay. Your turn. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, where were we? Ah, uh, yes. I think outside Time Crisis series. I know I've been playing a bunch of student game where you have to reload by student off screen. Which is kinda bad, don't know what you're doing. And all the other arcade games kinda pass through me. I mean I look at how they there, I don't feel anything. I just so I have no idea what the heck I was doing. There was that I look at more combat arcade and I'm just like yeah. I'm not big on fighting games. In fact I suck with them. The only like fighting game I oh yeah, one big arcade game I liked a lot was Tech Romancer. It's a 3D mecha fighting game. And I would say the control command are a lot closer to Super Smash Bros. than regular fighting games. I would explain if I have time in one video, but probably not now. But it was my favorite game, and probably the first arcade game I beat. And then it took away. Fooey. After that, there haven't been any big game I got into. Driving game, I don't like because I keep being anywhere but first place and I hate the driver. Nah, not driving. What am I? Driven? Never race car. Driving games. They had this ridiculous rubber band AI, which I'm sure everybody who plays those games will understand. And let's see, what else was there? Fine game, I. I didn't know how to use the internet back then, so I was not big into it, nor do I know how to use the command list and stuff. Seriously, I don't like arcade fighting game because the command list is completely blank and you have to do you have to figure out what move they do by putting random input. How I play Test Run Master well, I have no idea. I would say the last genre of arcade game influence would be the t rhythm games. Funny thing, I was passing by D DDR2 Supernova, well, DDR Supernova 2, and they had a song called Trust with the anime background of Gurren Lagann. I like the music and I like anime at the time too, so I look into it. And I at first it was tricky to play, but after getting out of beginner mode and go to standard mode and play the other song, I totally got into it. Or more accurately. 
well I got into rhythm game a lot and that pretty much my primary source of arcade game to look for. But fortunately, that was kinda late in the high school year and at the time or maybe college, beginning of college. And the, the rhythm game altogether at the time for arcade was kinda in bad business. And even to even to this day, rhythm game have not been doing so well in arcades. The last one for DDR was in 2014, if I remember correctly. I tried other rhythm games. Technica was okay, I just don't like how you're limited with the songs. I mean, they only give you like 3 out of the available set, even for beginner mode. So you can't really play them all you want, or in any order. There was... Beat Mania, which I haven't exactly got into because I have not got used to with the control. So, pr and pretty much the only DDR game that the RK I know has right now is I call I think it was Max 2, which doesn't have a good variety of songs. Speaking of song, I like to look for that video where one guy said that music doesn't does not matter in video game. In my opinion, it does. But that's for another day. As far as video game go, it's probably somewhere in my second grade where I start getting to video game because my parents will always help be or will be tired. No. Hold on for a minute. At the time, my parents would be too exhausted to take me to the mall and plus we had moved to a new area so we don't know much and the mall would be too far away so my parents bought me video game to keep me busy and it kind of backfired as I got hooked onto it. I mean I had my Game Boy Color but I keep losing my games. So we bought Nintendo 64. The game I played was Mario Party 1 which I always cheat in that one. Super Mario 64 on 100% completion on that one. Oh dear. What else was there? Level 10, huh? Challenge accepted. What other game I play? Oh yeah, Donkey Kong 64. Arguably my favorite 3D game. And what else was there? I know I play Wave Race, but I'm not in that big into the game. There was... Well, it has a, a good number of 64 games. After that, I, my second game system would be the Nintendo GameCube. What? Oh man, am I going to die to cat piece? Oh dear. Good. I got GameCube game and I would say that my list of stuff would be the Super Smash Bros. Melee, Luigi Manston, Sonic Adventure 2, Tales of Symphonia, The Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. What else is there? I know I had more. Oh, Soul Calibur 2. I got into that because of Link. Such a guy. Why else would you buy Soul Calibur 2? Especially for the GameCube. What else was there? I think that's all I can remember on top of my head. I mean, I did not buy that many games, to be honest. I had a Game Boy Advance too. I had Donkey Kong Country Advance, Dragon Ball G Legacy of Goku 2, Luigi, no, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, 
Fire Emblem 7 and trust me that game is a pain in the butt even though it's fun what else was there? I remember borrowing Golden Sun from my fr a cousin of mine it's a fun game on the sock ouch no! I did not want to do that Oh my goodness. Quit tackling me. Yes. Nidoran Mayo. I shall name you. Keen from Commander Keen. Oh, because you're gonna be Nindo King, I should call you Nindo Keen. In fact, I should go ahead with that one. Oh yeah, speaking of Keen, anyone know the Dark Spark games? I also grew up with those ones way before Nintendo. I would say the two games I played the most in that one was Commander Keen 4 and Duke Nukem 2. At least for the demo. I have yet to play the full version. Sad to be me. Hmm. Ow. Now I shall go back and meet up with our old rival, Gary. Here's a heavy Pokemon lost stronger before. But so have we. Like, we just will be going to the grass field, I cannot really skip up the fight now, can I? Otherwise, you might think I'll be cheating. Oh, wait, I already did that, but I try to avoid any counters while I'm doing that. So, I'll just skip ahead. If anything happens, I'll show you guys. You guys are not seeing this! I am getting my butt kicked by Pidgey, like, who is lower level than I am! He threw in a field set attack and already ruined Pikachu. See? Set attack is OP! Oh god. And this guy is strong too. Goodness me! Okay, back to fast forwarding. May this be the highlight for this video. Our encounter with Gary Oak. And I believe he goes with in with a Spiro first, so let's just take it out. Hello. You know, the fact they have the eye a bit longer, you see they add one more picture, he looks like he's pretty angry. And the hair does not make it any better. Because it looks like their eyebrows. Well, my my level 9. But so am I. Like growl is gonna help you at all. And guess what? My manky knows low kick. Okay, you're a lot less ready than I remember. Level 8? Really? Oh, you're going to use sand attack on my face. Ouch. Ugh. Son Goku. Let's take him out. I would say after my GameCube, I got the Nintendo. No, yeah, I got it. I got a PS2, which I played a few games. 
I still have the game I have not played yet. Or beaten. I, mostly for the Kingdom Hearts series. And I wish I bought more Wild Arm game for my, with my PS2. I only bought Wild Arm 3. Sadly. Uh, screw you, Sonny. Okay, my big two is a bit hurt. All right, we got Mankey ready. Now we need to get Nidokin ready with his double kick. Oh yeah, speaking of Kingdom Hearts, I got the Game Boy Advance. Should have memories. It was a bit tricky to learn, but it was actually fun afterward. The, the final boss for Sora Story Mode is very exploitable, to be honest. Seriously, that guy would not try to break your slayer until the very end with some, in some stages. After that, I got a Nintendo Wii and not many games, to be honest. Well, some. But that's more for my brother than for myself. I I need to play Sin of Punishment and R Crystal Chronicle Echoes of Time. I have not got a chance to touch those two. I play Baroque and that game is the awful trash. And then I got my Nintendo 3DS, which I probably play the most these days. I got Pokemon Y, Kick, po Kick Icarus Uprising, Pokemon Pearl. Yeah, I skipped the S. Uh, let's see what else was there. Oh, uh, I play a lot, a lot of games. Ace Attorney, Professor Layton. It's a lot easier to play on the go Right and just sit down on my chair like I used to do So I think I'll be turbulent a few bit Is there anything here? Nope I've already fought you Do 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 Yeah I believe 3DS is like my My latest game System oops Level 8 Not this again Stay down Sunny I don't think I'll be getting a new game system anytime soon because I've been busy with work and video making. Well, not work, school, college work to be exact. I am learning how to use Unity, a pretty interesting system. And since Unity is a free game making engine, you guys should try it out and look at the tutorial on videos. Of course, you can take the class. On video game engineering, and it's a lot of programming work. Trust me. Java is more. Well, computer science altogether is more of memorizing stuff than anything. Uh, do I want to switch out? Not yet. And fast forward. Need a red female. You know, I cannot help but think how you capture one Pokemon from the family and then you you force that your new Pokemon to attack your own family member. I mean, that would be like the most tra tragic part of the game. Have they made a Pokemon episode out of that one yet? 
I mean, I, I pretty much seen the one with Tracy Scyther where it's more battle for pride. But I don't see anything else. Police can't recall anything. Horn attack! It's kinda useless against Brock right now. Okay then, so our next episode will be tackling against Brock. I got about four more minutes before we wrap this one up. And yeah, it's gonna be terrible everything because I've already done all this before. Do we have enough stuff? Five potions, good enough. Listen to the song. Can you hear the echo from the gym? I think that's the one thing I definitely like about the Gen 1 music. Something about having less bit to work with for the music makes some of the note a lot louder. And you get a nice echo feeling. Dun. Oh yeah, Pikachu is completely useless. The only thing you can do is pretty much just do stat decreasing. Who should I send out first? I think I'll go with Son Goku. You know what I really don't get? This guy have nothing but ground Pokemon. They're not rock type. I just used to think rock type all oh, until I meet Brock. I mean, who read the manual? Why would they want to go through the. Wait, he's faster? Why do they want to go through the manual and try to memorize all that table chart? Yeah, this guy, I'm going to give it to. To Neo Keen. Oh dear, that hurt. Oh my goodness! This guy hurt a lot, I know that for sure. I'm not risking it. Well, this is a bad idea, I think. Okay, while well, he's doing that, okay. I believe in my first playthrough, I don't, my Pikachu was the highest level Pokemon, so Thunderstock failed, I thought Quick Attack was the only thing that, that does damage, so I just spammed Quick Attack. Later to my surprise of knowing how Rock Pokemon really work. Yeah, it was a disastrous time. Yeah, I think I'll keep chasing my way through. Ouch. Okay, good enough. Nino King, let's go. Perfect. What the heck? This critical hit ignore the damage that? That was really terrifying. If that guy land one more quick attack, well, one more crit, then I will be dead. I will lose my Nidoking. king. On the same video, I caught him. Well, that's it guys, I'll be off now. I'll catch you guys later.